Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth or Told Tarot. This is your March 2019 tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Virgo. <clears throat> Here are the cards. We have the Ten of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Swords. The Sun is the overriding energy of the month. Top two cards talk about love, romance and general relationships with the Ten of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. Bottom two cards, but three popped out, represents business and finances with the Moon, the Knight of Wands and the King of Cups. I've also pulled um, some angel answer cards and an angel oracle card for further clarification. So the first, the first angel answer card is let go. And there is an ending here. You've got two endings. So I kind of think the message is letting go of the past. It seems to be a common theme at the moment. And the next Angel Answer card is whatever you've been asking the universe for, whatever you've been hoping for, whatever you've been praying for, the card says within the next few months. And this is for March period. So, yeah, it's a positive message. The other angel card was healing. And the last one is harmony, finding balance again. So beautiful energies this month, Virgo. Um, so I'm just going to start with the sun's energy. So the sun en sun's energy is about joy. It's about revelation. Maybe all will be revealed in March 2019. Things that you were asking for, things that you've been hoping for. Maybe you'll have clarity, understand where you're going, because this is a directional energy. This is the horse carrying the child in a specific direction. There's truth, there's knowing about where you're going now. This is also a time of abundance. It's a time of good news. Um, the sun's... Radiant energy, it's almost like, like a solar flame touching the earth from the heavens. This is divine energy shining on you, um, touching your world, filling you with joy from within. This is joy, abundance, happiness, self-belief, optimism about the future. But also, the sun talks about natural power. Natural power. No one can really compete with the natural power. And with the child being naked, it's finding your natural power, finding your true self again. It's a powerful thing, a powerful time. And that can be a revelation to you as well. So beautiful energy. Now, before I get into the cards, the other thing that I'm noticing is in the business sector, you have the moon. And the moon talks very much about is very much reflecting the sun so i kind of think that your power now your belief your self-confidence your optimism march is spilling over almost like a reflection into your business life and when i look at the ten of swords this is normally what you would find on the that we i use different um tarot decks but this is what you would find as um, the kind of classic Ten of Swords card, Virgo. And again, you see the sun's energy. This is the sun banishing the darkness. That's exactly what the Ten of Swords is all about. Having been through deep, dark times, dark nights of the soul. But in March, something is lifting, something is being revealed. There's a change, there's a warmth, there's a radiance. There's inspiration, there's creativity, there's good news, there's real optimism about the future. So this is banishing any dark thoughts, any dark... Yeah, the sword's very much linked to the mind, so very, you know, very much linked to any dark thoughts, any dark feelings that you may well have had in the past. So that's why we've got a tens, I think, because they're being banished. They're being banished by good news, happiness, joy contentment, things turning around for the better. And I keep on thinking, I mean, when the sun appears, it's a message to say you're going to be okay. 
you're going to be okay. This is about love and light. Love and light surrounding you. Being within you. So it's beautiful energy. So, we start with the five of wands. This can be about bickering, about arguments, about disagreements. And you see how they're stood in a circle almost. This is, if you're pulled into this kind of situation, or have been in the past, arguments, disagreements, not seeing eye to eye, um, can be in relationships, can be in general friendships, can be at work. Um, this is very much that you need to get off the roller coaster. You need to get off that roundabout because you'll just end up going round and round in circles. This will keep pulling you down and you won't move forward. And I kind of think you are seeing the truth. This is revelation. This is about the truth, about seeing things for what they are and letting go of the past. Seeing truths, seeing people's motivations. Nothing is hidden this month from you, Virgo. So in terms of perception, in terms of intuition, in terms of knowing about you, knowing about other people, you'll have full knowing, full knowledge of everything that's going on around you, full awareness. This is about awareness as well. And this is a choice, a decision to get more stability in your life. It's right next to harmony. You see harmony, this is instability, this is harmony, this is balance, this is stability again. This is how you restore harmony, is by letting go and not being dragged into argumentative situations anymore. And I think you've been working hard to push through obstacles, to push through difficult situations. It's weighed heavily on you. This is carrying heavy baggage, heavy loads can be to do with the mind as well, can be also physically. You've been working hard, could be under a lot of stress. You've been working hard to materialise something. And it's coming through. This is about achievement. So it's ending. This period of carrying baggage, carrying stress, carrying pressure, is ending because you're getting to an end, a point of achievement. The Nine of Cups is so beautiful and whatever you've been wishing for, whatever you've been working towards here, whatever you've been hoping for when you've been in this spiral of, you know, constant bickering, constant difficulty, constant being pulled into negative situations, whatever you've been hoping for, once you step out of this situation, you'll find that you can find balance, you can find self-love again. This, the, the Cups are very much about emotions what we feel, what we think. This is about finding self-love, how to start achieving success within your life. This can be very much in terms of relationships. It can also be to do with um, wider successes because these are stacked up like trophies. These are all about achievements, about goals, about completions, about the know-how. The Red Hat talks about this mental acuity, this mental, this active mind that wants to push forward, to achieve, to bring more success in life. You've achieved a nine, which is a significant success, but you want to achieve ten. So this is pushing forward and the know-how to actually bring that about. This is the mental clarity that you were struggling on before. And I just feel that you're getting there. You're getting there. This is truth. This is clarity. This is clarity of mind. This is perception as well. Swords linked to the mind. This is know-how to achieve, bringing in a brand new beginning. And this is where, again, I talk about divine energy shining on you. This is divine energy. The aces are where divine energy is around us and within us. We are divine creations. And that's what the aces remind us, that you are a divine creation, that you do have... Um, divinity, whatever divinity means to you, within you. You have the ability to bring about your own new beginning and this can be divinely guided as well. Connection, this is where we connect with the universe, the divine, God, whatever divine means to you. This is where we connect because we suddenly realise that we can believe again. We've suddenly realised that we're filling ourselves with great stability from the inside, emotional stability, 
emotional happiness, emotional contentment, self-belief. This is self-belief with the red hat. We can achieve, we can push past this to bring success into our lives. And what that means for you might be different. It might be more friendships, it might be relationships, it might well be bringing more money into your life, it might well be doing better at work. Whatever this is, this talks about good news. In terms of relationships, I think something, certainly something for some of you is finished. It's done. I think you've been let down in the past by relationships and that can close your heart. And the Page of Pentacles, and, and by the way, the Ten talks about it being over. <coughs> so it's time to let go, which is exactly what the, the Angel card is saying, let go and move on. And the pages are very much about the seeds of an idea, the beginnings of something, of change, the beginnings of change in you. This talks about growth. This talks about expansion. This talks about opening your mind to new relationships, opening your mind to new possibilities, grounding yourself, focusing again on what you want to achieve. And some of you are doing that. So in relationships, some of you are doing that. There could well be, I mean, because it's a page, there could well be somebody that, new coming into your life. It can be somebody quite young. Um, but I kind of think, certainly with this situation, pentacles can talk about relationships, committed relationships, um, the need for growth, material growth, uh, maybe material security, maybe having gone through this situation, which is the five of wands, instability, you're wanting to expand, maybe on the business front, maybe in terms of money, but also you're open to new relationships. So accepting that the ending is gone. And like I said before, this is the Rider Waite tarot deck, the sun, is banishing the dark clouds. And I kind of think whatever happened in this, whether it was relationships or not, there's a new day, it's a new dawn. The dawn is rising and the dark clouds are being pushed away. I keep, you know, this is very much about revelation to yourself and revelation of what you're capable of to other people too. So I certainly think these can also be impactful on your business and finances as well. Like I said before, the moon, there's been doubt, there's been fear, there's been high emotions in the past. But the sun, and I just think, certainly in this, this is hidden blessings. Hidden blessings have always been with you in this dark time. I can see this dark time Hidden blessings have been with you, Virgo. And this is reflecting divine energy, saying that it was always present, even though you couldn't see it in the dark. It's always been there. And the path is still there. You see how the path is there, but it, it disappears into shadow. It doesn't mean that the path isn't there still. So this talks about using your intuition as well. Not allowing yourself to be deceived by the past, by a clouded judgment from like memories of the past coming back to keep you in a negative state of mind. This is about letting go of the past, using your in intuition to guide you forward because you know what you need to do next. <clears throat> and we have the King of Cups. This is a sign of achievement. The waves crash against the King of Cups' throne. Waves talk about emotions. The water is about emotions. But the King of Cups stands resolute, calm, because he has the inner emotional centre. Now, nothing will rock him because he has that self-belief, that self-confidence, that self-knowing that comes from this intuition from within, 
containing his emotions because there's experience and self-belief that comes from the revelation of what you're capable of. This is a sign of success as well, Virgo, a real sign of success. And again, I'm just looking at this. This could also be, if you take these cards together, this could be an offer of love. I mean, this could be an offer of, of love. Somebody coming into you, this is a more mature man. This is probably um, somebody 30 to 40 years of age. This is somebody more mature. Um, so levels of experience, this is somebody young. So there could be new relationships on the horizon. But I kind of think more than that, this is about believing in you. This is about believing in what you're capable of. And there you are, riding forward your wand of power, being filled with your natural power, recognising your natural power, because you're suddenly in a process of revelation of understanding what you're capable of, riding forward to achieve. Again, focusing on business. This could be in business. This could be to do with a new job. This could be to do with a promotion at work. This could be to do with getting more money. Um, but very much focused on achievement and success. And the knights, they search. This knight is in search of power. And he's nearly there. He's nearly there because he's a knight and we've got a king right behind that talks that, that success is within your grasp soon. So, yeah, very much a positive reading. I think it's a beautiful reading, Virgo. And, yeah, don't, don't underestimate how powerful this card is because there's a lot of power that goes with revelation and self-understanding and understanding others. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great month and I'll see you next time. Thank you.